So the first eShop we're going to be taking a look at here is called Ghost eShop. Now out of the two eShop alternatives we have, this is by far the worst one that we have. This is the one that you only want to use as a last resort if you can't find your app on the other service. So I'm going to go ahead and take a quick look at this. So you guys have two ways of installing it. You can either click the download button right here or you can click games inside the top left. Then go ahead and click on the post that says Ghost eShop. It might be the first one or it could not even be there. And then scan the QR code if that's there for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit about how Ghost eShop looks. So another thing about installing Ghost eShop is I would highly recommend you guys to go to the Discord server first. If you are not able to join the Discord server first, and it says invalid link or something, there is a very strong chance that Ghost eShop is no longer a thing anymore. And if you're looking at a website with a download link and it doesn't have that Discord, I personally would not trust it and I would not try downloading that. But the app itself is pretty basic, it gets the job done. It's just a lot of the games on here, it's just they won't work, either they'll crash your system or they just won't download and on top of that the download speeds are extremely slow compared to HShop. Personally I can't get more than 1.5 megabytes per second, but that's just me. But also, when installing a game from here, make sure you check which version you're installing, whether if it's the American version or European version, Japanese version, etc. And et so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the best one, and it is the only other one that we have to choose from, and that is HShop. HShop can have everything you can think of, whether if it ranges from games, from the 3DS to the DS to the SNES, all the way to themes, all the way to homebrew apps and ports, and they just have it absolutely, they just have everything. But as you see, you can just hit games, go to North America or whatever region you're in or prefer to use, and you can find a game, click download, and you'll be greeted with either a direct download link or a QR code. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an example here with a homebrew app. So let's go ahead and find something here that we can safely install. There we go, friend me. We can go ahead and give this a shot. So in order to install this, all you have to do is, is click download. And either you can do a direct download link like that and then manually install the CIA or you can just simply open up FBI, which every single one of you should have. Go to the bottom where it says remote install in FBI. Scan QR code. And then you just literally scan the QR code, install it and bada bing bada boom, you're done. But that's going to be about it for this video, guys. This is AJ170 signing out. See you guys next time.